This is part 29 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss Bootstrap breadcrumbs component. So what are breadcrumbs? Breadcrumbs indicate the page that the user is currently on in a navigational hierarchy of a website. Breadcrumbs are very useful for websites with large number of pages as they allow the user to navigate to any page very easily. Here is an example. Let's see how to create these breadcrumbs. Let's flip to Visual Studio. At the moment, what we have got here is an ordered list with four list items. Notice within each list item, we have a nested anchor element. So if we view this HTML in the browser, by default, the list is rendered like this. What we want to do is convert this ordered list to breadcrumbs, as you can see here. To do that, all we have to do is, on this ordered list element, use the breadcrumb class. Let's see our changes and when we reload the page, notice we get the breadcrumbs as expected. Let's say for example at the moment we are on the about page. That means we want to make this about breadcrumb active. To make a breadcrumb active, all we have to do is on that list item, use the active class. And we also don't want the current page link to be clickable. So I'm also going to remove the nested anchor element that's present inside the respective list item. Let's also remove the closing anchor tag. Let's save our changes, reload the page. Notice now the about link is active and it's not clickable. Here is the HTML required for that. If you do not like any of the predefined styles of these breadcrumbs, you can change them very easily. At the moment, the separator for these breadcrumbs is a forward slash. Now let's say we want to change it to a pipe instead. Doing that is very easy. The challenge here is to identify the CSS class that's being used to style the separator. Fortunately, with the browser developer tools, it's very easy. At the moment, I'm using Google Chrome, so I'm going to press F12 to launch the developer tools and then I'm going to click on this icon which says select an element in the page to inspect it. Now what we want to do is identify the CSS class that's being used to style the separator that is the forward slash. So I'm going to click on that. Notice what happens the moment I click on that. Under styles tab we can see the CSS classes that are being used to style that forward slash. So we are after this class, breadcrumb li li before. So I'm going to copy that and then let's go to Visual Studio and within our bootstrap folder and within our CSS we have this bootstrap.css. Let's search for that class. So here we have bootstrap li li before and look at the content style here. At the moment we are using a forward slash. Instead of that, we want a pipe symbol. Now we can change it here, but the downside of that is that tomorrow, if we get a newer version of Bootstrap, then we are going to lose all our customizations. So let's include all of our customizations within this custom styles.css style sheet. So I'm going to copy this class and include that within our custom styles dot CSS and I'm going to change only the content style instead of using a forward slash I want to use a pipe. This custom styles dot CSS is already referenced within our index.html so now when we reload this page notice the separator at the moment is a pipe instead of a forward slash. Along the same lines, changing the background color is also very easy. Let's say we want to change the background color to this color that you see here. So let's flip to the browser. I'm going to click on this icon once again and then click on these breadcrumbs. The class that's applied is breadcrumb and we want to change this background color property. So let's flip to Visual Studio and then within our bootstrap.css, let's copy breadcrumb class and paste it within our custom styles.css and we want to change just the background color style so I'm going to remove the other styles and we want to change it to FF D800 so this is going to give us the color that we have seen on the slide you can of course use any color you want so when we reload this page Notice the background color is changed as expected. 
Finally, let's see how to change the active page color to red as you can see here. At the moment, the active page color is gray. So I'm going to click on this icon once again and then click on About. So the class that's applied is Breadcrumb Active. So let's flip to Visual Studio and with our bootstrap.css we should see Breadcrumb Active. Let's make a copy of that class within our custom styles.css and then let's change the color. So the color that we want is red. So the color code for that is FF0000. Let's save our changes. Reload our page. Notice now the active page color is red as expected. Thank you for listening and have a great day.